Nothing, buddy. Good practice. Good practice. Good physical, hard practice. Uh, good heat, good work. A lot of situations, a lot of communication, and uh, getting there. I mean, we ain't there, but getting there. Getting there. Questions? Well, a day like this, I mean, with the conditions, you being able to test guys, what do you see about your team that you like and things you may not like or want to improve to? Well, I mean, we're getting mentally tougher, but we're not as strong as we need to be, and we got to grind it out. You know, you're in those dog days of camp, you know what I mean? And you got to you got to work to create habits, you know what I mean? And no matter how you feel, how sore you are, whatever it is, and we're getting there. We just ain't quite there yet. When you say, like, mentally tough, like, when does it, like, hit you, like, okay, they're at the level I want to be? When they do everything perfect. <laughs> and they give effort and their attitude and their demeanor and their body language and their effort and bounce and step and even if they make a mistake how they're thinking because I mean a lot of times you make a mistake there's a mistake that you think you see it right it's just okay but then there's others that man you're so far it tells you you're, you're not even focused on what you're doing you know what I mean things like that Jim, but how, how are Nooney and George family? good George should be back we're waiting he's got a he's got a growing anytime Nooney that's a really great report you know could be daily Concussion with Nooney or concussion like with Nooney? Sorry. What was it with Nooney? Nooney had like a, some uh, concussion like symptoms, Symptom. but okay. he's responded back extremely well. Okay. Extremely uh, well. Dontavious Jackson, I don't think so. No, yeah, uh, dealing with the family issue. Okay. Nothing. I just give him a break some time. Good to get pig pig back in yeah, the Yeah, real good to get pig back out there. He looked good for looked fresh legged amazing. No, but it was. He tough situation and for him and but it was great to get him back. Coach, a lot of these injuries, but there's any other than Sean that would threaten the first game for now that you can tell or not that I could tell. I mean, not off the top of my head, no, I don't think so. So it's pretty typical. Bucks typical, yeah. I mean, typical stuff. You, you get a pull with thing, and that's the thing on those pulls. What I'm trying to do, but we still two weeks out to make sure. Even if you have to give an extra day to make sure that pull is taken care of, because then you still got that. You got enough time, but we got to get them back quickly. Can't go too long. But you know, you you take those pulls and they bother you all year long. Make sure you heal them up. How, how has Everly responded to his treatment? Really good. I, 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 we got a good report back today. He's responding back very well. Very well. I mean, like the progress when the stage is on. How's, how's Corey doing when he's running? Corey Martinez running with the ones. Okay, going well. I mean, he's gotten plenty of reps and he's done it before. I mean, blocking naughty ain't no fun. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's doing well. He's doing okay. Kicker competition still going back and forth. Yeah, I tell you what, um, kicked it pretty good today. They, they were, they were, and they even even they hit hit the thud of the ball. You know what I mean? The rhythm, the routines, the hold, the snaps, and getting getting down. We got two weeks where you find a lot about. Your gotta keep punting right too. Gotta keep you know everybody forgets about that. Everybody says a kicker, but you have the punting deal too now. It's all of those. Do you find out a lot of mentally about your team third week of uh, of camp? I think you do the farther in you go because you know you can't quite see the end and the end's not near, you don't have a game coming up, but I've been in here, I'm banged and bruised, and you know, you find out how much I really I really, really want to play football. Is there a chance you'd use both Logan and Ricky for different situations? Uh, I don't know. I'll do whatever we got to do to be successful. I mean, it, it be, yeah, to answer your question, there is a possibility, but I'm not saying that's going to happen either. I, I don't want to be, you know what I mean? We'll do what we got to do. I'll do what they tell me they're doing. See, by, by their actions, they'll tell me everything I need to know. <laughs> do you approach a second scrimmage different than the first scrimmage? Uh, basically, a few more different situations and stuff. But we'll still try to, you know, very similar. At this point, at this point, yeah, at this point in camp, are you starting to kind of, guys, I'm just trying to figure out who's going to be able to help you contribute to that first game? Yeah, I mean, I think you're starting to get to that point. I mean, you really are. You can see it, but I'm going to tell you what. In today's ball, everybody better be. You're one play away, and there's so many special teams and so many guys you got to use because your numbers are so down as far as, you know, you don't have tons of scholarship guys like you used to have back in 105, 120 days, you know what I mean? So, you know, most of those guys, in some way, are going to be, they're going to impact the game. I always went to Freddie, he said uh, Dalvin's vision, sometimes it's when he watches film again, he might not even see the whole on film that Dalvin hit in the games. What's it about his vision that makes him so special? Well, I mean, you got, again, everybody laughs when you say it, but eye discipline is the key thing playing football. What you look at, how you look at it, how you move people. It's the only way you can get information into your brain to be able to process to be able to play. And knowing what you look at and that feel of seeing those scenes and stuff, and that's, that's what, you know, I've never been around a great athlete that didn't have great eyes. I've never been around a great athlete that didn't have eye discipline. And then, it, make, it evolves into everything else. Jim Moon, how does that affect the reps? Nothing. We're going, we're going, we're rocking, rolling. It's like we normally rep anyway. The season, you only get two. So. When, you, when it comes to guys getting banged up in camp, do you ever dial it back in terms of intensity and like hitting and stuff? It depends. Pretty much right. Depends on what they are. And each team's different, what each team needs. Like I can say, when you have children, do you treat every child the same? One, one's different than the other, you know what I mean? So each team has, you know, what you think it has to have to be successful, you know what I mean, or what it lacks, you know what I'm saying? Or what you have to crank up on. It may be that summit, it may be more assignments, and you can, you know, they are tough and all that, but they gotta get more 
assignment friendly or split, you know, things like that. But, you know, it just depends on each team. Has this been one that needed a lot of contact? I think it does. I think it does. And I think two things. I think today's and today's guys, I don't think it, it's not like it used to be. And I think toughness is at a premium now. I think effort and discipline, all those intangibles, I think, because of our the way we are society-wise now, excuse-wise, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's playing PlayStation when, like, practice doesn't go well. Let's well, hit restart. Game over. No, you don't get to do that. You know what I mean? And I think in these kids today, I think that is very vital. And, again, again, we're experienced team, but we're a young team. We're counting on some young guys, too. So I want to see some guys take new roles and really grind through some things because we got a heck of a schedule, and there's going to be adversity during that schedule, and we got to be ready for it. Kareem Lahr doesn't get talked about as much maybe some of the other guys on the line. What do you think he's brought to the table over his time here? And How come you didn't talk about it? Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> now, he, 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 I tell you what, Kareem has a big heart. He gives everything he's got out there. You know what I'm saying? And he's got a chance. He does good things. He really is big body, gets on you, can, runs good for a big guy, and uh, cares, and, and now gets some power. I mean, he, he's, he's a good, good football player. Paul Amy went off on the Cubs out of heat issue with him. Must, I didn't know. I must have been. I'll, I'll check and see. Again? Thank y'all. Thank you.